Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some orange pistachio frions. Now frions are a cake which is very popular, little individual cakes, which are very popular in Australia and New Zealand. Um, and they're sim similar in texture to a French financier, but they're larger than that. And uh, usually they're made in a pan which is this shape, so uh, sort of ovals, and that's a freond pan. But of course, the size of that cup is just about the same size as a muffin pan. So you can make them in a muffin tin as well if you don't have a freon pan. And uh, again, freons are usually made with uh, ground almonds or almond flour mixed in with flour, sugar, egg whites and such like, and then various things are added in. And I've made several versions of freons using uh, ground almonds. But today I'm going to grind down some pistachios which I need to use up and I'm going to use those as the base for my freons. So I start off by preheating my oven to uh, one, uh, 200 Celsius, that's 180 Celsius with a fan, 400 Fahrenheit and I've greased the inside of the cups of my freon pan and, and a muffin pan because I'm going to make some in the freons and some in the muffin pan just so that I can show you that, that, that it works in the muffin pan. So I'll go on to the ingredients and for this I have uh, 225 grams which is one and a third sorry one and three quarter cups of icing sugar. I have 75 grams half a cup based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup of plain flour. I have the egg whites from six medium eggs, that would be large in the USA. I have the zest from two oranges, which I have grated finely. I have 185 grams, 13 tablespoons and one teaspoon of melted unsalted butter. I have 125 grams, one cup of pistachios. So that's for the cakes. And then I'm going to put a bit of an orange glaze on the top once they've baked. So I have 60 millilitres, a quarter of a cup of orange juice and 100 grams, half a cup of sugar, which I'm going to mix together. You can change the quantities of those. I'm just simply going to boil them down basically until they thicken into a syrup. And then I also have 50 grams, six tablespoons of pistachios, which I've chopped very roughly. They will go on the top before baking. So I put those to one side for a moment and we'll work on uh, the pistachios. So what I'm going to do uh, for the pistachios, I can see I've just spilt some butter there. Uh, what I'm going to do with the pistachios is I'm going to put them into the small bowl of my immersion blender like that. And I'm going to add into that some icing sugar. And the purpose of the icing sugar is to prevent the pistachios from forming into a paste as I grind them. So I'm simply going to put the top on and then I'm going to process these until hopefully I get quite a, well a reasonably fine grind. And I think that's probably quite good. So I'll just check. So as you can see, that's ground quite finely. May not be quite as fine as uh, the ground almonds that are done commercially, but that would be good enough, I'm sure. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put those into a bowl And into that, I'm going to add the flour, the remainder of the icing sugar, which is very, very messy stuff. Uh, 
and uh, the zest from the orange and I'm going to mix those around and that's good like that so then what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to whisk the egg whites until they're frothy and that's good enough like that so then I'm going to put those into the dry mixture and I'm going to just mix that to get it combined and as you can see that's nicely combined now so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in my melted butter and I'm simply going to continue mixing until that's fully combined and that may take some time but it will all eventually emulsify so as you can see that's all mixed in quite nicely so then what we need to do is put that into the pans ready for baking and what I will do is um, as I'm doing that putting it into the pans if it looks as though it's beginning to separate I will simply stir it again like that so I'm going to use an ice cream scoop and I'm going to fill the pan between half and two-thirds full And with the mixture in the uh, Freon pan and the muffin pan, I'm simply going to take some of the pistachios that I chopped and I'm going to put those on the top of each one. Just like that. And then I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for being between 20 and 25 minutes and they should rise up and they'll go uh, slightly crispy around the edges and maybe begin to pull away from the side of the pan then I'll take them out of the oven and leave them for a couple of minutes then I'll turn them out onto a wire rack um, to cool down and uh, as they're baking and cooling we can make our syrup so for the syrup I'm simply going to put my sugar and my orange juice into a saucepan and I'm going to heat that, stirring it, um, until it begins to reduce and I can feel that it's thickening, it's boiling and it's thickening and at that stage it would probably be thick enough for me uh, to brush over the top of my Freons when they're baked. So I've got it on the heat and I'm simply going to stir it until it starts to boil and bubble. And as you can see that's now uh, boiling. So I'm just going to leave that to boil and reduce for a couple of minutes and it will thicken as it cools down then but I'll keep an eye on it to make sure that it doesn't boil over 
So I've let that boil away for two minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer that to a dish and leave it to cool until I need it to brush onto the top of the freons. So I baked the freons for 24 minutes. I left them for three minutes once they came out of the oven and then I just ran a, a little spatula around the edge and lifted them out and put them onto the baking tray. So they're cooling down. But what I'm going to do is while they're cooling down, I'm going to take my syrup and I'm going to brush it over the top. And I've, uh, I've placed the, the rack onto a baking tray so that it catches any syrup that may drip off. And you don't have to put this syrup on, you can just eat them as they are. But I think it will um, add a little bit more orange flavour. So I'm going to leave those now. Uh, to cool down completely and when they've cooled down completely I'll come back and we'll have a taste. So it's been a, a, a few minutes now and as you can see um, the syrup has firmed up and turned, I think opaque is the word, um, on the top of the freons and I've broken one off so I could have a taste. So you can see inside it's very nicely cooked inside. So I'll have a taste of this one. It has a wonderful texture from those um, ground pistachios. Then you get the crunch of the pistachio as well and the flavour of that comes through as well as the orange flavour uh, comes through. They go very very well together. Now they're slightly crisp on the outside around the edge at the moment uh, but if you store them in an airtight container that becomes uh, softer and slightly sticky the, lo the longer you store them. Um, but these are very, very simple to make and really very good. And as I said, you don't need the special pan. You can do them in a muffin pan. Um, so this is what the ones I did in the muffin pan look like. And you can put more or less mixture in depending on how large you want them. So I think um, this is very, very, uh, a very easy recipe, a very good recipe, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an I that you can click on and that will take you to a link for this recipe. And I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.